They're not totally direct. They're not kind of, you know, what are you doing? No, no, no. Let's bring the discussion into it. You know, what's been happening beforehand? Why have you come to me now? What's going on now? Where could we go somewhere else? People will feel less threatened in those situations. And you'll probably actually start to... to the, the, um, one of the things that often happens in those situations is that people will give us the presenting issue. And they'll give us the presenting issue because they're in trouble. They're calling in a facilitator because there's something going on that they can't deal with themselves. Often they'll be quite swamped by the presenting issue and so they'll be telling you about it again and again and again. But what might be underneath is something that's in time. And usually I'll say to people, first question will be, have you got any conflict that's going on in the team right now? No, 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 we don't have any conflict. No, no, everything's fine, no, no, no. And then you talk on and you talk on. And then it comes up, well, actually, um, the, the manager won't talk to the supervisor, blah, blah. blah. And, and so then you start to see what's, what's going on. Because often people are afraid of conflict and they don't have to deal with it. Um, so it's, it's asking the questions, why, 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 what's underneath that, that sort of thing. So there's those questions there. Um, so you're looking for the real issue as well that's underneath the presenting issue. And if you keep talking and keep and put people into a comfortable situation, you're the facilitator, you're coming along to help them solve the problem. One of the really important things is that it is their problem. It is not your problem. Okay? If you're the facilitator, you model neutrality. Don't take on the problem because if you do, you'll end up in the same sort of you know cesspool that, that they're going down in. Part of the value that you bring is that difference, that view, that strict and someone said it earlier on, the importance of working at the strategic level rather than getting down into the problem level. And that's the important part, particularly in strategic planning. So stay in that. It's very difficult, just a word about people who are facilitating within your own organisation. That business of familiarity, you know, you're, you go down and you have a drink at Friday night with each other, blah, 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 you're friends, you might have worked together for years. Sometimes that can actually be a difficulty in terms of facilitating. What you need to do is, it's like when you apply for a job that you've had for 15 years or something, you know. You have to go into the job interview as if you've just walked in off the street. And the same with facilitating. You need to go in there as if you're coming in with very fresh eyes to that problem and then you're helping the group to actually um, deal with it. Or otherwise, the, what, what, if you don't do that, you get into this dependency situation with each other and that can be another trap too. 